In this video, you're going to learn how to host your custom Discord bot and keep it online 24-7. A lot of you guys have been asking me for this tutorial, and thanks to today's sponsor, Cybrency Hosting, this process is about to get extremely easy for you. Just for my subscribers, Cybrency Hosting is offering one month for completely free on any service from their website. On top of that, they're hosting a special giveaway for you guys, so stick around till the end of the video to learn more about that. Anyway, I'm currently on VS Code, and this is an extremely basic Discord bot. All it's doing is printing to the console that the bot is online, and when someone says hello, the bot replies with hi. So anyway, let's head over to Cybrency. So click the link down below or go to cybrency.com slash under control. Now, once you're here, you'll also notice that they offer web hosting and domain registration. So if you want to host your own website, custom or using a CMS like WordPress or Drupal, then you can use Cybrency hosting for that as well. Matter of fact, you can host a website for completely free by going to free hosting. In this video, we're going to look at Discord hosting. So click on that. Once you're here, scroll down and choose your bot's runtime environment. I'm using Discord JS, so I'll stick with JavaScript, but you can also use Python. Now, the thing that I like about Cybrency hosting is that it's beginner friendly in the sense that you don't have to worry about Linux commands and SSH like you would with a virtual private server. Also, they plant a tree for every purchase, so that's also cool. Anyway, let's look at the plan that we want to choose. And here, as I said before, Cybrency Hosting is offering one month absolutely free for you guys. But for that to work, make sure to choose the monthly option. If you want to go for the one year or three years option, that's totally fine. But if you want to start off without paying, then choose the monthly option. Now, select any plan from here. I'll just choose Ultimate because it's a month for free. So click on Start Now. Now we're at the Configure page where I'll just leave the default settings and click Continue. Okay, so to get your free month in the promotion section, enter the code under control and click on validate code. The price will now update to zero, so you'll get the first month for absolutely free. Now scroll down and let's register an account. I'm just going to use Google for ease of use, so I'll be right back. Once you've filled out all your information, choose a payment option, so I'm just going to click on PayPal, then accept the terms of service and make sure you verify your captcha and then click on checkout. Okay, so our order was just placed. And to go to our hosting panel, head over to your email inbox. So you're gonna get a bunch of emails, but the one we are interested in is the one that says account created. So click on that and click on set up your account. So over here, you'll be asked to enter a password and confirm it. Once that is done, click on reset password. Now this is your panel account, and it's different from your Cybrency account, so make sure you're careful with what password you're setting. Okay, so now we're logged into our panel, and we only have one server, which is the one that we just purchased. So click on that, and you'll notice it says server marked as offline. Don't worry, we'll work on that. The first thing that we need to do is upload our bot's files. And there's two options for that. We can either directly upload the files, or use a service like GitHub. To set up your GitHub repository, go to Startup, and over here, you can set up your GitHub repository. And if your repository is private, you can also go ahead and add your Git username and your access token. However, I'm going to directly upload the files since it's a very simple project. So what I'm gonna do is open up my project folder. From my project folder, I'm gonna select index.js, package.log.json, and package.json. We don't need the node modules folder because it's large and can take a lot of time to upload. So drag the files and drop them into the panel. Once you do that, it's time to install the packages and take our bot online. But before you do that, I want to cross check where your index.js file is. In my previous tutorials, the index.js file has been inside the source folder. So for that to work, head over to startup and change your bot.js file to source slash index.js. Of course, I don't need to do this, but you should know that you can change this entry point from here. So now head over to the console and click on start. So it first installed all the packages and then it ran our index.js file. So in this case, it printed logged in as not under control. And if I head over to discord, my bot is indeed online. 
So I can type hello and my bot will reply with hi. So there you have it. Your bot is now going to stay online 24 seven. For those of you who are still around, as I mentioned at the start of the video, Cybrency is hosting a special giveaway where five of you guys can win three months of free access each to any service from their website. The giveaway is going to be hosted in my Discord server, which I'll have linked down below. I'll provide more information on the giveaway after this video goes live, so keep an eye out on the announcements channel. Once again, thank you Cybrency Hosting for sponsoring this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.